how to use Photopia for clothing brand. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can use Photopia to create a design or a mock-up for a specific uh, brand uh, that you are going to make or for example for a client demand. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to go ahead to photopia.com. Then we are going simply to search on Google for some mockups. Here we have a lot of free mockups that you can go ahead and gather from uh, the web. But in my case, I have chosen this uh, mockupworld.co and they have chosen some mockups. As you can see here, we have the craft paper pouch mockup. We have the iPhone 15 Pro also metal uh, surface mockup so i'm going to add the first file here for the craft paper pouch i'm going simply to uh, open from computer or i'm going simply to drop it uh, from the files let's see here what do we have i'm going to my files then i am simply going to get that file then we are going to get the psd here as you can see i have downloaded it will be downloaded as a psd you can go ahead and use a png but the psd is more sophisticated so let's go back here and drag and drop it right here it will be loading and here we have it this is the same mocha and here from this website you will be guided to the right places that you can go ahead and modify the placement as you can here uh, see here we can change this and you can see here we have the mockup you click uh, twice at this one you can go ahead and replace this uh, this uh, layer it is called layer 4 all you have to do is you choose these layers as you can see here we have uh, marked uh, some images change this and change this you can go ahead and change these all you have to do is to go ahead right here then we are going simply to uh, change the images in here and you will be good to go now i highly recommend you to use some high quality and um as uh, how i can i say high quality images and also not very saturated and the most important thing is you are going to use the png files i will let you see here some examples let's say that i am going to use an example for a logo or a uh, something like that i'm going to add this this is a design that i have created on um, canva i'm going to add it right here here we have the design it is uh, right here it will cover the mockup. You can go ahead and make it bigger, smaller, and here you have it. You can see here, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller right here, and it will be covering the whole package like that. This is just a demonstration on how you can work, but as you can see, the image right here has a not a fully white background or a transparent background so it has a paper looking background so it will be a little bit uh, um, how can i say that it will be a little bit crispy yes uh, this is the word i think and i'm going to let you see here an example of a logo let's go ahead and add maybe a logo from our a library here i'm going to search for a png logo then we are going to see if uh, this works properly so i'm going to delete that image click on it and then we are going to see the uh, here we have the logo this is a uh, logo that has not a background it is a background tree and as you can see here i can go ahead and modify the logo right here you can go ahead and um, modify the the template right here for example for the blending options you can go ahead and add some contour some texture right here and a stroke for it if you want here when you want to add modify the stroke you can go ahead right here and put that for stroke for the texture you can go ahead and add a pattern also for the contour you can go ahead and uh, increase or decrease the range we have inner shadow inner glow satin 
color overlay gradient overlay pattern 3d for example if i activate the 3d here we have some uh, colors going on you can go ahead and uh, modify this color it is going with the uh, the red one i'm going to make it like this blue or you can make it a little bit white with this color here we have it and here i'm also going to put like this here we have it this is a 3d effect maybe here we uh, can also add a drop shadow to it i'm going to remove that because it will be a little bit bleeding right here we have the out outer glow and we have the pattern overlay you can go ahead and put the pattern overlay this is for this uh, specific uh, mocap i'm going to delete that logo i will let you see here the difference between the uh, the background and without the background here we have the background as you can see it is uh, making a little bit of change i'm going to put it under this one as you can see here we have the glow for the uh, package and here we have the white which is making the photo a little bit sharp and has the uh, white background that is disturbing and also you can not make this uh, title or make this uh, photo dynamic and here we have it you can get uh, add some blending options you can add some uh, for example strokes like that i'm going to add a stroke get here i'm going to see here how can this affect my design so it will affect all the photo and not simply the png or the logo itself so that will not work with the uh, files that has a background that was for the first design so i'm going to delete that now let's go ahead and add another design and we will see what we can do now we have another design from this website also it is the iphone 15 pro on metal surface mockup now as you can see here we have the iphone 15 pro you can go ahead and place the design that you want right here simply you can go ahead and click twice on this one and you will be adding the design so let's go ahead and add something from our desk uh, let's say that we are going to add this this one i'm going to add this like that go ahead right here copy and paste the subject now we are going to make it right here go ahead i'm going to delete that first because we are going simply to see here the place your design here click twice on this one and here we are going to drop our image simply i'm going to put something right here like that can go ahead and put the design right here drop it simply here and as you can see we can go ahead and make it like that i'm going to unlink this one but simply we are going to drop the design here then we are going to uh, make them like this here we have it this is the red image and here we have the uh, mockup so i'm going to let this image uh, hidden like that i'm going back here click on this one and here we have it this is the mockup and here we have it this is the place of that image when you set everything up it will be added to this case so i'm going to add the image again right here it will be showing up here i'm going to make it this is not going well for this version i don't know why but it is okay you got the idea on how you can go ahead and make these you can also add some random mockups for example from canva or i'm going to search for white t-shirt mockup like this i'm going to download it from a from free pick for example this is a royalty or loyalty free uh, designs or images i'm going to wait for a little bit here we have some mockups i'm going to get this download that free download simply i'm going to get that image then we are going to 
make it to the Foropia. Let's go here, right here. I'm going to delete that, also that. Let's see whatever we have. Normally it will be showing up right here. I'm going to take that file, go to Foropia, and here we have it. This is the background. You can add some text, for example, right here. You can go ahead and select the, uh, here we have the fonts. I can add a font right here. I'm going to add a font. I'm going to put, uh, let's go summer. I'm going to put, put something right here. Here we have it, summer. It is looking a little bit small. So we are going to put here something. Go ahead and select everything in that text. Let's make it bigger. Here we have summertime. Or like that, simply. We are going to put here uh, aligned, align it to the middle. Here we can go ahead and make this. Uh, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller or taller. It is up to you to do that. So simply we are going to make it right here. Can go ahead and change the color of it. Here we have the color. You can go ahead and see the type tool or you can make, for example, from black. I'm going to use this. It is the color changer. Make it like that. And here we have it. Click OK. Then we are going to make this at the middle. Also, we can go ahead and add this or add an image from these to that like this. I'm going to add an image, crop it like this, put it right here or with without a uh, background. I will go and add or insert the image without a background. I have a logo that I have created here. This is the uh, previous logo. This is without a background. Make it like this. And here we go. This is it. That was very simple and very easy. Here we have it. You can go ahead and and make this or select the uh, text, delete that and only let this logo. Also this text, I'm going to delete that. That's only the logo. We don't need the text. So we are going to make the selector. And here we have it. That was all for today's video. I hope you guys that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.